पिछले एपिसोड में जैसा कि आपने देखा मेरी शुरुआत पूरा वक्त किसी पे भी आ सकता है आई यूज टू पोक माई नोज एवरीवेयर मैं गा भी लेता था मैं लिख भी लेता था मैंने कैसी बात कर रहे हैं इनको नहीं देखा आपने बोला क्यों नहीं देखा खारी बावली में दुकान है चावल की बातें दिल से निकलेंगी सावधानी से सुने First of all I want to know uh, how did you get into Doordarshan Rini if we could start with your story Um it goes back a very long time we are almost dinosaurs now so <laughs> um uh, well Doordarshan was a natural progression because I began when I was 13 doing doing shows in schools oh. and um when I when I was in school I started doing a show called the Air Force Day okay. oh. Parade which is um attended by the prime minister of the country okay. and uh, i was noticed there okay um by which time i had already started doing radio okay and when you are on radio then the natural progression is that you do um request shows mm-hmm. you start with music you okay. start doing roving microphone okay. there used to be a program called in the groove okay. uh you start doing yuvavani and then you move on to other channels of radio okay. so i i did a whole bunch of channels in radio mm-hmm. and then the natural progression was that you started doing news on radio okay. that meant that you had arrived okay um you could be doing dj stuff mm-hmm. everywhere else but uh, news meant that you were serious and that you know there was some weight to you log jante the aapko exactly news exactly aur news ek cheez hai jo har jagah sunai deta hai so uh, you could go to ladakh and mm-hmm. be heard you could be in kanyakumari and be heard yeah. um so so i i did news i did mm-hmm. news for several years and uh, um then i thought okay let let me try durdashan so went across to durdashan but then they said no you have to be a graduate you can't come on to dd unless you've done graduation so i had to finish my graduation and so 84 um i applied and um was in mm-hmm. we started doing parliament news we began with parliament mm-hmm. and while i was doing parliament i think about the third bulletin that i had read mm-hmm. um there used to be a f- a critic called uh, amita malik okay. she wrote and she noticed me and mm-hmm. she wrote about me and said she has been wasted on parliament she needs to get on to national news okay. so i was called that that weekend mm-hmm. i was called and i was put on uh, i read the news those days we used to have two news readers mm-hmm. um now you have one anchor who does mm-hmm. the entire job but those days we had two news readers mm-hmm. um it was uh, already color television mm-hmm. 82 asian 82 had started asian games, asian games yeah asian games had started and and so we had color television so 84 when i started reading mm-hmm. but parliament used to be black and white okay uh the main news would be mm-hmm. color and parliament was black and white okay. so from black and white uh over a fortnight i just crossed over to color television okay and the main news mm-hmm. and i read with tejeshwar who's no longer okay. with us but um i started with bunny the biggest thrill of being the news reader was when you get your uh when you get your check mm-hmm. uh the covering letter is on behalf of the president of india yeah that was oh. the best thing so in you're working okay. for the president of the india wala baat hai ki president of india ke baad bhi 1 rupaye ki stamp lagti thi टाइप्स Okay see you didn't have time to even look at the uh-huh. sheet okay. so the sheet uh, is coming in there are flashes hote hain okay uh-huh. the the sheet is coming in or or the news is being still typed and sent in uh, breaking news jo aaj ke zamane mein kaha jata hai un dino breaking jo hai wo un without anybody knowing ke it is breaking mm-hmm. it is coming in uh, Achha, while you are reading, while you're reading so he's sending uh-huh. he's sending there is a, there is a runner there is a okay. guy who runs from the editor's table okay. to your table fresh copy leke uh-huh. it's you know it's actually straight from the oven mm-hmm. and you are reading it as it is even the editor hasn't had time to edit it okay. so there are things like uh, the police were 
should have been combing the operation mm -hmm. or combing the area mm -hmm. and you've got police were bombing the area because the C got replaced by a B on the typewriter. Oh my God. Haan, okay. Jo spell check. Spell check to thai nahi. Okay. And um, so you, you have to have your wits about to say, it can't be bombing, it has to be combing. So while you're, while you're <laughs> while reading, reading, while you're, you're reading, to it. your you eye to has it. to scan the entire line okay. and make sure that you've understood what mm -hmm. is being going to be said. Okay. Because not even what is said, uh -huh. it is going to be said. In the no, uh, I mean, it was just not, okay, by you get uh, love letters or you get um, mm -hmm. fan mail. Uh, and fan mail, Vake used to come in sacks. People sending you books. Uh, okay. ke isko autograph karke please bhej mm, ye hota tha. And uh, people would write letters and that was the only mode of communication. Of communication. Because they didn't have telephone numbers to call mm -hmm. us, otherwise we would have got calls as well. Uh -huh. There used to be bets placed on mm -hmm. who will read with whom <laughs> uh, and there would be stories that would you know revolve around that because okay, that was like the, the gossip mm -hmm. yeah, the gossip that went around oh. like for instance there was this gossip that went around that I and Neeti were sisters okay. and then Neeti was married to a Hindu mm -hmm. so she was Neeti Ravindran mm -hmm. and I was Rini Simon married to a Christian okay and you were uh, not even married exactly <laughs> exactly so you had very interesting stories and people mm -hmm. would walk up to you and say okay I met your sister or I met mm -hmm. your brother or something mm -hmm. like that and we'd say we don't have a brother or we don't have a sister uh -huh. uh, that apart there was uh, saris would be mm -hmm. uh, they would decide you know, all right, you wore the sari on last Tuesday and you repeated the sari or you should not repeat the sari and <laughs> co combinations of that kind. There would be husbands who would walk up to us and tell us, okay, you know, we, we have fights in the house because you wear such beautiful saris and my, my wife would tell me, please go buy me a sari like that. <laughs> huh? I had a very interesting um, uh, episode. Uh, I was reading news on radio as mm -hmm. well as television. Mm -hmm. And at that time, um, Mahabharat had just started. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So um, I had got married and um, my name had changed from Rini Simon to Rini Khanna. Mm -hmm. And um, I was in, in radio, news is 24 hours. So you finish a bulletin mm -hmm. and you've got another person standing by to come okay. in, and in your finish. chair. Uh -huh. And it could be a different language. So okay. it could be English, Hindi, uh -huh. whatever, the regional language. So. so there used to be this particular gentleman who used to come in old man with white hair mm. and hair was long and he would have a long tikka on his head and he would come and he would do namaste very 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 mm. you know beautifully he would do namaste to me and I'll be reading the news as I look at him and I'll say like that and I'll ca carry on reading news and then finish and I have to get out of the chair quickly because mm -hmm. he has to come into my chair okay. and the fader is down and he has to put the fader up and say Akashwani say khabare uh -huh. or whatever huh? so and then you'll pick up your sheets and you'll run out mm -hmm. because you don't want to disturb him. Mm -hmm. uh, and he would follow me into the newsroom. Every time this would happen and I was very jittery because I said, you know, is he stalking me? Is there something wrong? Have I done something wrong? And he would say, Aapko aur Bhishma Pitama ko dekhe dhanya hue. And I didn't know what Bhishma Pitama was. <laughs> So I would go back to my bulletins and go through it. I said, what mispronunciation I have done? What is this name? Where did it And my editor, I would go and ask, what is Bhishma Pitama? Nobody knew anything. Nobody knew for a very long time. Mm -hmm. Till one day, I bumped into Mukesh Khanna. Oh. And that's when I realized that the name change Mm -hmm. had made people think that I had got, got married, married to Mukesh, Mukesh Khanna. Khanna. Oh, okay. And so this man would every day come and do namaste to me. Finally, I yeah. had to go up to Mukesh and say, what the hell have you done? <laughs> I mean, everybody thinks that I'm married to you. So he says, ha, mere ko bhi kuch kuch khabar meli thi aise. And I didn't know who it was. If you liked this video, then click the alert button for the next video. YouTube pe subscribe ka button dabaiye. और फेसबुक पे लाइक का बटन दबाइए समाचार समाप्त हुए धन्यवाद